Hi there, I'm Linda, and this is Hutton's Valley Permaculture. It's the start of April here, which means it's really the end of the summer growing season. I've got some lovely red chilies that I need to harvest today. We've also got a carrot bed that hopefully will go through into winter that needs to be thinned. And my recent brassica planting needs to be uncovered, and we'll check out how that's going. Now I do still have some summer vegetables in. This is my second planting of beans that I started, but with the colder um, conditions coming on, I'm not sure when the frosts are going to be. So this will remain here and probably grow some beans, but just up until the first frost knocks it out. I think it's worth having a second planting because if you can get another harvest of beans, it's kind of like a bit of a win. My sweet potato bed is still thriving. It's looking quite green and lush mostly. It does have some small areas starting to yellow off which might reflect the dry conditions we've had lately. I might give it another couple of weeks before I harvest all of these. And I've also got a second planting of zucchini in which is just here. There's actually two plants planted very close together here and I've got some fruits just starting, so that one's ready to harvest. And I've got uh, plenty more flowers coming and a few more zucchini harvest before that finishes with the cold starting to creep in. In my capsicum bed, I've got plenty of red capsicums coming along that really need to be harvested as well. Today I'm going to focus on my chilli plants. They've got lots of red chilies on them. Some of them are actually starting to dry off, which means it's a real sign that I've got to get most of them in so that I don't uh, waste them. So today I'm just going to grab the red ones. There's still plenty of green ones, which hopefully will be allowed to sort of ripen further. What I normally do, once the frosts come, well, just before the first frost, I'll try and harvest all the chilies, whether they're green or red, and I'll usually throw those ones in the freezer. But today, I want to grab my ripe chilies, and I'm going to just dehydrate them whole for whole chilies for cooking um, throughout winter. But I might also make some as flaked chilies and also powder some. So now, just a slow process of getting, getting all of these chilies harvested. That's these bird's eye chilies cleared for the moment. There's still lots of green ones on here. And I, I'm hoping that uh, there's lots more to ripen up yet. But we've got a nice basket full of red chilies. I'm just gonna put these in the dehydrator to uh, dehydrate. You could just string those up and hang them up, but that takes time and uh, there's just me here to do it. So I'm gonna pop them in the dehydrator. I've got the solar system, so I don't mind using a bit of electricity for that. I do have a longer variety of chili here, which is a, a milder chili. These ones are just ripening. I've just grabbed two of those, that, but they're not quite ready yet. But again, I'm hoping they will ripen before the frosts come. Otherwise, they'll just go into the freezer as green chilies. Now we can move on to our kind of winter plantings. I planted these carrots a couple of months ago and I'm hoping that as the weather cools down, it'll slow down the growth of these carrots and they will be um, big enough for me to harvest throughout winter. Now, I do have a bit of an issue with that plan. If you have a look down here, I think the little bush rats have discovered my carrot patch. Yeah, if this keeps up, there won't be any carrots left for me for winter. Look, you can see they've just chewed into that one as well. That snapped off. Uh, so I don't know what to do about them. I don't want to poison any of the little creatures in the garden, but hopefully they leave me something. 
My plan was to get into this garden bed today to do a bit of thinning, but maybe these little rats have been doing it for me. I'm a bit sort of hesitant to pull out too many carrots in case it just gives them more access to what's left. But anyway, oh, oh that one snapped off. Oh, they've taken out virtually the whole row. Look at this. Yeah, I'm not sure really what to do about this problem. Hopefully I get more owls in the garden and uh, they can deal with these little rats or uh, welcome in a few more snakes. You can see all along there, the same thing's happening. Well, the ones through here are certainly okay and I might be able to pull a few of these little carrots out. They are a size that they're um, quite usable if I pull the big ones out and uh, yeah, at least get something for the kitchen before the bush rats get it all. It has been very dry of late, so it's making it a bit, these carrots are really a challenge to pull out of really dry ground. I did try soaking this area for a little while, but ah, um, oh, that one's okay. If we can get a few more out like that, it just kind of gives some space to the, the rest of the carrots in the garden. And, uh, you know, they're okay for baby carrots. Oh, there's quite a thick patch in here. We'll see how we go getting some of these out. Oh, the ground is so hard that I might loosen at the side and see if we can ease some out of the ground. Oh, gosh. Okay. We've had two months of dry conditions and um, it's a bit challenging in the garden. You can see the little rats have got there, but just along a bit, these carrots are all going really well, just uh, needing a bit more space. Oh, that one's coming out nicely. I gave this area a bit of a soaking, which has helped a lot. So I might have to delay my carrot thinning until I kind of completely soak the whole area. And it will make it much easier to get these little carrots out. But hey, that's enough for the kitchen at this point. Yeah, definitely have to soak the rest of this garden to uh, in these carrots and uh, beat the little bush rats to them. Oh, well, a few nibbled on, but not a bad bunch of thinned carrots. Well, I'm not sure how many of the carrots left in that patch are going to be left for me in winter, but at least I've got some. Hopefully the bush rats haven't found this little patch of brassicas that I've still got covered, which really needs to be uncovered. So that's what we're going to do today. There's definitely not so many of the, the white moths around, although there's still a few, but uh, not half as prolific as they were back in summer. But they're straight onto them. Is one already. <laughs> Definitely needs a bit more water this garden. Now, there is a dumping of rain expected this afternoon, so I'll just leave the rain to do the watering. Yeah, well and truly time to get these covers off. It's been a little neglected, perhaps. Okay, so with the covers off reveals a nice little patch of Asian greens. I think if we can get some 
a bit of water onto these little plants. There's mustard plants and bok choy. Uh, they should come along really nicely. I've got cauliflower in here and some broccoli plants. And again, they just need to get a bit of water on them to kick them back into life. And without those covers on them, I'm sure the leaves will pick up and really start to grow. We've still got some warm days left before the cool of late autumn and winter hits. So if we can get these plants kind of going and established, there should be some harvests coming for winter. Not actually too many weeds to pull, just a few. So we can get those out of here. Still some little plants coming. That's going to be a uh, kale. I think it's a Tuscan kale, that one. And just here are some garlic cloves. I must have missed some of the garlic in the harvest back in, the, um, back in November. And so they've started to grow. Bit of a reminder that you need to be getting your garlic in if you're uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, looks like I've missed quite a few cloves with that harvest. Some of these plants are a kale. This one's a curly leaf kale. So that will be an ongoing harvest throughout winter along with that Tuscan kale. Whereas these cauliflower plants are really just a, a once off harvest. Although I have had some cauliflowers that act more like a sprouting collie. If you leave them in the ground, they kind of do keep going a little bit. And uh, well, I think that one's a, a collie. There's some carrots that I should have pulled out of this bed already just to give these little plants a bit more space. So I'll certainly get onto that. I anticipate this bed should be ready for harvest sort of late autumn and early winter. So it's a bit of a reminder that I need to get going with planting out more of my winter garden if I want harvest right throughout winter. But I'll be doing that in another video. It was just a quick trip around the garden today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.